Hi, this is Stuart Webb, author, founder and CEO of The Complete Approach with another one of my one take video blogs, All the Mistakes Will Stay In. I want to talk to you today about your marketing, what you should be doing whilst you're waiting for the phone to ring. And the fact is the worst thing you could possibly do in your business right now is wait for the recession to end. What we all need to do is figure out how to conduct and generate new business. Now that's easier said than done. It's more challenging generating new business in a recession. But we're in a recession and we may as well face facts. Almost all new business is ever is, is generated passively by referral. You wait for the phone to ring or for an email inquiring about your services. And, and that's wonderful when that happens in times uh, at, the good, at the good times. Uh, but the flow has slowed down now to a trickle, hasn't it? And we're all waiting for things to happen. Your past clients are occupied putting out fires and figuring out how to keep their businesses afloat. And new clients are absolutely nowhere to be seen. So what to do in situations like this? My suggestion to you is very simple, but it's for many, it's scary. You need to reach out and explore how you can be of service. And I don't mean going out and getting a waitressing or waitering job. I mean to be service as a business. Right now, my clients are doing a lot of this, lots of outreach and lots of meetings. They're not selling. They're simply having conversations and seeing how they can help, mostly with current and past clients. And part of that is expanding their product range or indeed reaching out to past clients who now have a need when before they didn't. In several cases, those conversations are turning into new projects. And in other cases, they're building the relationships and the foundation for future business. It may not pay dividends today, but you absolutely know it will pay dividends in the future. What they're also realising is that the best way they can generate new business, even if there wasn't a recession, is by having these sort of what can I do to help service conversations. It really is the very best tonic. So I encourage you, reach out, have conversations, explore ideas, share insights and resources, see how you can help each other or make connections to those who you don't know how you could possibly serve now or possibly in the future, but just explore. Many of my clients have discovered that this connection conversation approach is the most effective marketing app activity they have ever done in their business. It's really transformational stuff. This is what to do now during the, the recession and also for as long after it's over because it really works better than anything else you can do. We're talking about this in April 2020 and although I try to make things as evergreen as possible I can't see how just because we're in the middle of a really poor area now, we are likely to change this advice. Connections lead to conversations, lead to relationships, inevitably need lead to new business. So if you're already doing this, great. Keep reaching out, keep having conversations, discovering ways you can serve. And if anything you can do now, which will help do live webinars, I think those are more effective than social media articles and other content. Nothing wrong with those, of course, but there really is power in connecting personally. And I talked recently about uh, using more video in your marketing, and I'll leave a link to that article, uh, that v blog, in, in the comments. So the biggest barrier to this approach is fear, uh, fear of being rejected. If you send an email to a past client or associate, they may not respond. They may not have been interested in speaking with you. Don't be afraid. Their circumstances have changed as much as yours. This has not been my client's experience. Nobody gets a 100% positive response when they reach out, but even for the most part, people are glad to hear from you, glad that you're showing an interest in them at a time when they're as afraid as you are. So my advice to you, reach out, do what it takes. Uh, take a very simple email and just ask them to connect uh, LinkedIn and just give them the opportunity of talking to you about their current problem. 
How hard is that? A simple email like those gets a response and they get meetings and conversations. And it's those conversations that will ultimately result in your clients. Those personal connections really are the essence of effective marketing for small businesses in the current climate. If you'd like any advice, if you'd like me to help you with a scientific marketing makeover, send me a, a, a request in the link to this uh, video in the transcript. I'd be more than happy to look at any piece of marketing and tell you exactly how you can improve it. Until next time.